Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see all about consistent hashing. So we'll see that what it is now where we can use it, how it is different from other hashings and now where we can use this in different applications. So first of all, what is hashing? Right. So for uh, to know about hashing mode, you could see the last tutorial where we have explained hashing all about. So now in a brief. What is hashing? Hashing is only the concept of hash function and hash table. So what we do, any value you give, then using the hash function, you generate a value and then you put that value into table. So generally hashing is required for indexing the data, for cryptographic application, for finding the duplicate data and some other applications, right? So let's take example, basic example. So this is my HX, which is hash function and the, this is X mode 10. So as you could see, what x mode 10 will do so this is my hash table right and if if i have these values 21 to 56 72 39 40 96 so they will be stored as per x mode 10 and as per their location right so 21 would come here 72 would come here then 56 96 and 48 and 39 right so this is hashing but now let's say that if my this table is not sufficient right if there is more data so you could say that let's say if these are tables and so we could have the servers also right so let's say if we have the servers and through that and through that hashing we are dividing the keys into servers so earlier we have only four servers now let's say what happens if you that that all your keys are occupied by and they are exhausted so now you want to add the more servers because earlier then there were 10 servers but now there are 12 servers so what we so so now where, where is the problem now we need now the hash function of each value has been changed right because earlier it was x mode 10 and now it is x mode 12 right so what would happen that earlier 21 was at this position but now 21 will not be at this position it will be 21 mode 10 right so it will be at different position so this will be true for all the values so now all the values would be shifted to different indexes different positions right and why it happens because our server has been improved or we have added new servers same is the case with the uh, with the failure of the server so let's say earlier there were 10 servers and now we have removed two servers so in this case also we need to update the uh, the hash function or the hash values for all the values right so now again it requires a lot of efforts and it requires a time and when you have the big systems like Amazon, Flipkart, Facebook then it's not that feasible right. So here it comes the consistent hashing. So in consistent hashing what happens is that earlier you would changing the old K keys right but now you would change only the K by N keys right. So how it happens so where K is the number of keys and N is the cache servers. So here is the concept of consistent hashing. In consistent hashing what happens that we put all the servers in the in the circle and then we assign the values, the keys and the nodes to the same ID space. Right. So what we do, let's say if this if these are the four servers we have in our system. So now let's say if you want to distribute the value. So what we do, we say that from zero to this value all the keys would be at this oh, at this server now from this values to this value all the keys will be at this server now from this to this all the keys would be at a and from this to minus one all the keys would be at b server right so what we have done we have basically made the ranges that from this value to this value it would be stored in one server from this value to this value it would be stored in one server right so now what is the benefit of it let's say if we add the two values if we add the two servers now so let's say if we are if we added one server here so now if we add a server here so what it can do it would basically divide the values so it would say okay from 0 to 2 3 something it would store in this server and from 2 3 to 4 6 double 1 it would store in this value right so basically where earlier when it was when it when it was uh, changing the values for all the values now it is changing only this values right so we need to update the only this values so this is the benefit of consistent hashing that rather than changing the whole values it is just updating these these caches these values right and now let's say if we add the five servers here in this space so basically it will divide by divide by five and it will take each shares right so this is the case of addition 
but now let's say if you remove something if if the due to a failure of due to system failure if you have to remove the one server so what would happen that this server if this server is failure so from minus 4062 up to this value this would store all the values would come into this server right so this is how we do in consistent hashing we make the ranges we put all the servers into into range into circle and then whenever you want to add it will just share its values if you want to remove so all the values will be then handled by the next server so if this fail it would handle by this server is if this fails it would handle by this server right so now uh, let's see what it is doing so it is saying that generally if you if you have the k mode and way hashing then adding a new server can have all the hashing need to do from the starting but in consistent hashing we need to map only k by n again where k is a number of keys and n is the cache servers now if you have the n integers you sort them and divide it in a circle as per the nodes right now what are the benefits of using consistent hashing so whenever you add new cache servers it will fetch some of the existing server keys which lie inside it right now whenever you remove any node next node handle all its keys so we need to map only deleted nodes key like like i already explained you so now memcached amazon dynamo and many other many other applications use this consistent hashing and it is very good hashing nowadays because nowadays we have the distributed systems and in distributed system this is a requirement right so guys uh, that's all about the consistent hashing and we have covered all the point like why it is required and why it, what it is and which applications are using it nowadays so that's it about this video if you have any doubts please write in the comment section and if you think that if there is any good hashing which is better than consistent hashing then please write in the comment section and we will see that so thanks guys and if you have got the fruitful information then please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you